Before the video even begins, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, especially if you are new here. Make sure you guys subscribe to me, like this video, comment down below. I want to interact with you guys, so yeah. Comment down below, like this video, subscribe to me. Welcome back to my channel if you already subscribed to me. And yeah, let's get into the video. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the time out to give a moment of silence just because for the amount of support that I'm getting from the people from TikTok who came actually to my YouTube and subscribe and comment down below and let me know you from TikTok. We're gonna take it out real quick. Cause you know what's going on. You already know what's going on. Like, yes. I am Rebecca Belzer. Y'all tuned again. All right, all right, all right. Let me stop. Let me stop. But I am so like so overwhelmed and happy that y'all are really showing out. Like, y'all are really showing out. I like that because that that makes me feel like you know what I'm saying. Like I got a gang or something. I saw a comment. A comment just pulled up. You know, I have my notifications on for YouTube. I don't got it on for TikTok. Um, I do care for TikTok, but I just, you know, toxic. Let me stop playing that. But that's not what I want to wake up to. But, yeah, showing out. But anyways, so my skin is kind of clearing up. And for people who are asking, like, I see my comments. I'm not going to respond, like, to the comments on TikTok, I would rather make a video and gather all the questions that you guys ask. Now, so far, what I am doing, excuse me, excuse me, what I, mean? what I am doing with my skin is I was at first, all right, so when I noticed that my skin was really effed up, I, you know, people were sending me, like, you know, giving me suggestions, trying to help me out. They weren't being rude about it. Like, I understand that. I respect that. Like, people weren't trying to be rude with how they were coming at me to try to help me. And I respect that. So, it was, I was getting multiple DMs on TikTok through people trying to tell me, like, what to do with my skin and blah, blah, what they think will help. So, I took some of the suggestions, not all of them, because, like, my skin is super sensitive and I can't, you know, just do anything on my skin because, you know, I'll get, like, some sort of reaction, which I did. Hold up. Let me talk. So, I did apple cider vinegar, right? Somebody suggested apple cider vinegar, and it was like, put it on a cotton ball, wipe it across your face, and I did that. And then after I was doing it, I was like, let me research what this is doing. Like, is this actually helping? So, I did, and it was good. They said to dilute the, dilute the apple cider vinegar with a little bit of water, you know what I'm saying, for the sensitive skins, but I didn't do it at first. And so, at first, when I did it, you know, I was still messing with my face, touching my face, opening up the pimples and stuff like that. My skin looks still bad, but when my skin starts to clear up, I'm, I have so much pictures and videos of my skin and the process so far. So this is going to be like a real emotional video. <laughs> Just kidding. But, you know, this is how my skin is looking. And I'm going to buy something else. I'm going to buy this Colvic Acid Bar. I'm going to buy that and see what's up with that. But... I don't want to have another allergic re or reaction like with my skin. So they say it's a they say it's a harsh product, and I already use black soap. Black soap was a harsh product at first to my face, but not really no more. But you know, like if I overuse the black soap, like if you were supposed to use it three times a day, I only use it in the morning and at night, but not really right now. I switch up my face routine, and you know, yeah, I switch it up. I'm only using it once a day. So. um update my skin routine has changed from this video but until i start seeing you know a more drastic change i'm not gonna like change or i'm not gonna say what it is that i'm doing now until like i see like you know a drastic change so until then just this video is it okay like this video i'm gonna update i'm gonna update my skin routine like i'm gonna, I'm gonna do another video once i see a difference with my skin other than that it's not so much of a difference from this video when i made the video so I just want to say that because I'm not doing the same thing. I'm not doing the same routine, but I was doing that routine. So if you're going to drag me, you can use that. Okay, let me let's tune back into the video. But anyways, let me get to the point. So I was using apple cider vinegar. 
But when I was using apple cider vinegar, it burnt my face. It didn't burnt the areas where the pimples were at and stuff. It burnt the side of my mouth. So the side of my mouth got really dry. And so I would put, you know, um, this oil, this Palmer body oil, not body oil. It's a face oil with vitamin E. And I would put it on my face and I put aloe too on my face. And, you know, eventually my face, it still got darkness over it around the mouth area. But it's not dry. Like, basically when I did the apple cider vinegar thing, it gave me um, eczema around my mouth. I had eczema around my mouth. Like, super dry skin, blah, blah. It was eczema. Like, the texture was eczema. And then, over time, when I started, you know, exfoliating my skin, like, putting stuff on the cotton ball and doing that, my skin was starting to fall off. It was almost as if I did a chemical pill on my face. My skin was starting to fall off. Not my whole skin. It was just around my mouth area where the eczema was at, like, where the dry skin was at. And so, still was using the apple cider vinegar. And then, you know, it stings really bad when you have an open, you know, open cut or anything on your face like it, it stings the apple cider vinegar stings and it hurts really bad so that that encouraged me more to stop touching my face and stop picking it and busting like the pimples and making myself bleed on my face it it helped with me to stop messing with my face so it was a good but a bad thing at the same time but it was good because I don't pick with my bumps no more I try not to even though it's like a kind of a habit because I enjoy doing it but I don't want to mess up my face though so that discourages me from doing it not the apple cider vinegar no more. I don't really use the apple cider vinegar like that. I'll use it like if my face is sweating or something like that and I don't want to take off my makeup yet, I'll use that. So, Or if I am if I have out the shower and my skin feels dirty on my face, I'll use the apple cider vinegar before I wash my face. So, boom. That's what I've been doing as of now. So, yeah, I was using apple cider vinegar, but it's a very harsh product, though. Then, like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I... I bought me alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol, and I rub. I will use it on my face. Yes. Alright. Well, I bought rubbing alcohol, and I used that for my face. And the rubbing alcohol, I feel like do that instead. Don't do the apple cider vinegar, but you can do it if you want to. But I don't know if you're if you're have sensitive skin and. You know, you never did nothing before with your skin. I don't suggest that because you're probably going to burn your skin off like mine. And if you care about your face, don't do that to your face. Me, it's like, girl, whatever. I'm paying the price for everything it is that I do anyways. So, but I rubbing alcohol takes so much dirt off your face. I suggest that for anybody with any type of skin. Rubbing alcohol, but you have to moisturize your skin after. Don't just put rubbing alcohol and go to sleep with your face or go out there with the day like that. Like, no, because it does. Excuse me. It does dry out your face. So, I suggest using rubbing alcohol. That's what I've been using. So far, my bumps are starting to go down. Like, my face is super bumpy, but the bumps are just taking so long. They're they're leaving, but they're taking so long to go from my face. It is so annoying. And then other bumps start to emerge. It's so annoying. But <sighs> the bumps that are there are leaving, though, but it's leaving very slow. And I'm trying not to touch my face. So it's not even, oh, you touching your face. That's why it's staying there. Nah, it's just taking so long to leave. And, okay. Oh, that's for my face. Okay, boom. All right, I answered your question about the face. So that's what I've been doing so far. And now I'm about to incorporate the Covic Acid Bar. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to purchase that, whether it's tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to end up purchasing that item. I'm trying to see if I'm leaving anything out. Yeah. Um, after you're done, you know, exfoliating your face, moisturize your face so it's not, your face is not just staying dry. You know what I'm saying? You have to moisturize your face, whether it's with aloe, but keep it thin. Whatever you're doing, keep it thin. Don't be clogging up your pores by putting so much stuff and layers over your face. Just keep it thin. Rub it into your face. Add something a little bit. You could probably put different products in different areas of your face, but overall, me... I do not want wrinkles in my face. I want to slow the aging process as much as I can. Like, I know I'm going to get older and wrinkly. I mean, not wrinkly, but I mean, you're you going to get wrinkled. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get wrinkly, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's just going to happen, period. You're going to get a little wrinkly. I don't know. But I want to slow that as much as possible and help my skin to stay as young as it can. So, um, I'm trying to see what's that thing that's called that keeps your skin, that's good for your skin. Like, use aloe vera. It helps. Vitamin E helps. And it's this thing. Hydraulic acid. Hydro. 
hydrolonic acid. I don't know how to spell it, but hydro, whatever, icy acid. That's good for your skin. It keeps your skin good and young. I thought about something like that, but I'm not going to buy that yet. I want to focus on my hyperpigmentation, then I'll focus on that. But I'm still using other things to help my skin stay, you know, beautiful and young. And, you know, pretty, period. But, like I said, keep it light. So, that's me answering your question with, you know, my skin process so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm about to buy the COVID acid to handle this discoloration. Because the discoloration is taking a little too... This side of my face is clearing up better than this side. Yeah, it's clearing up better than this side. This side isn't really doing such a good job on its own. But I don't know what's wrong. I actually sleep on this side of my face. So I, it's kind of ironic that this side is clearing up more than this one. But whatever. Yeah, but that's the end of the video. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys comment down below. And that's on gang. Like, y'all really... Y'all making my heart flutter. Like, I'm a mean bitch. I mean, and y'all really making me, you know what I'm saying, get, you know, you making a nigga get a little soft like, <laughs> listen, you got my heart, you got my mind, I think about you all the time, let me stop playing, but not for real, thank you so much, purr.